Now that the chain plate is pressed, no further pressing is required. We can see this part of the, the chain breaker, uh, splitter, whatever you want to call it, this part of the tool, you can see there that there are grooves cut out of the face plate and that it helps prevent overpressing of the chain plate because when I run the tool up against the plate and the rivet that's now sticking through, the rivet is touching the recessed part there and the chain plate is touching the stepped part there. So all, all of that is making contact and that helps to prevent the chain from being overpressed. The flaring pin will flare that, the rivet and prevent the, the link from coming adrift. So pop, we pop it in the tool. This time round we have the tool in the B configuration. Like that. It's always well worth just checking that the flaring pin is right over the centre of the rivet so that you're not stressing one particular side of the rivet and ending up cracking it. Looking good, looking good. We're nearly done here. Yep, happy with that. Last thing to do is just tension, tension the chain, and we are done. Just do up the lock. We'll just do up the lock nut now. When I do up the lock nut, I always watch the chain rather than the lock nut itself because I'm not, I want to make sure that I'm neither tightening or loosening the chain as this does up. And if it does tighten up a bit, 
I'll just try and loosen it off to compensate. I've got a brand new axle nut on from Probolt and they recommend just wrapping it in a cloth when you tighten it just to keep the finish which isn't something I would have thought about doing but I will. The bolt needs to be tightened up to 100 Newton meters so I've got this torque wrench set to about half of that So now that the work's complete, it's always a good idea just to run the back wheel in both directions, looking along the length of the chain and just making sure that there's no kind of binding, that the chain runs in a nice straight line from front sprocket to rear sprocket. So all that's left to do is clear up, put your tools away, put the bike away and wait until spring.